What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Baby Bat and today we are checking out the new Mike Shinoda song, Fine. Now, if you guys don't know, I absolutely love Mike Shinoda as a person, as an artist, as a musician, artist-wise, and he came out with some new music. It's been over a year since Post Traumatic came out. Um, and I've been a Linkin Park fan since, um, about 2007, and I was about six years old in 2007. I've been a Linkin Park fan for a long time, you guys, so naturally, if Mike Shinoda's coming out with stuff, Linkin Park is pa on pause right now. They might be working on stuff, nobody knows. I have, I have them on my wall back there. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see. I have them on my wall back there with, with Chester. Oh, man, I turned off my monitor. God. Anyway, <laughs> let me get this all situated. One second. There he is. Right back there. I should have put on... I don't have any Mike Shinoda merch. I wanted the welcome... The welcome shirt. But I have a bunch of Linkin Park merch I could have put on. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I'm back. <laughs> Got my Meteora, like, kind of long sleeve thingy. Got off Amazon. It's pretty dope. Anyway, I'm here to check out their, this new song he has. I don't know if he has a new album coming out or anything, but it's been about a year since Post Traumatic... Uh, over a year since Post Traumatic came out. So you can expect new music from him about every year, I would think. Just because of the type of music he is doing and it's solo stuff, it he can pump it out a lot quicker. He doesn't need two years. He can probably just do it in one. But um, I don't know if it's an EP or an album or just a standalone single. Not entirely sure about it. Um, but Linkin Park is on pause right now. I don't know if... It, it sounds like they're working on getting together and doing stuff again. But uh, no new music yet. I'm sure that'll take a few years. Love Mike Shinoda. So we're here to check out Fine. And just right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Just kind of an interesting thing. Um, the artwork here, especially if it says Mike Shinoda with a little colon then Fine on it. You know, the uh, actual art, the album art. Let me see it. Let's go to here. Do, do, do. Let's go to Mike Shinoda. One second, right here, you guys. Can we not? Oop, don't play it yet. I don't want to hear it yet. This right here, that looks so much like you see the Mike Shinoda semicolon fine. Let me let me show you this. Let me show you this right now. This is really cool. And he even said that he 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 gets inspired by Nine Inch Nails all the time. But that art style really reminds me of stuff from the fragile this album art here if you look at those together very similar our album art there um i'm not saying that's a bad thing i just think it's very interesting um right here you see the little glitchy stuff going on with the with the album art and you see the same thing here um in year zero especially with the colors and then um this is probably boring you guys but you see Mike Shinoda semicolon fine here. Look, look, Nine Inch Nails colon the downward spiral. It's it's the same. You guys, Mike Shinoda is 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 Nine Inch Nails. I don't know if you guys found that interesting. I just think it's very cool, like the correlation, like brooding by um brooding from Post Traumatic by Mike Shinoda was heavily um inspired by Nine Inch Nails, especially a warm place, which is on the downward spiral, which is one of my favorite songs by them it's an instrumental it's one of the most calming and relaxing just beautiful euphoric songs ever but i'm gonna get into this real quick i'm sorry if i lost a few people if you guys just got uninterested in that <laughs> but um we're gonna get into this it is three minutes tw and 36 seconds and um yeah let's do it I'm very interested i saw some of the lyrics and stuff he posted but i haven't heard anything of it yet so i've been waiting for like two days not two days, just one day. Tell the children to lock those doors. Ooh. I seen the smoke in the sky. Oh before. my god. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. It's kinda heavy, huh? That sounds kinda heavy. It sounds like nine inch nails. <laughs> kinda. Just Tell more of a mic. I wasn't expecting this at all. It's so dark and industrial. 
and abstract. Mike, what have you done? I'm going to be honest here. I was expecting just like the same style as post -traumatic. I don't know why I thought that because Mike Shinoda, he, he mixes everything up. Every album he mixes. He's like the, he's, he was like the, like the backbone of, of, uh, of Lincoln Park. Um, and he's the one that makes all those experimental sounds. He's the one that really drives the creativity and artistry throughout Lincoln Park for the most part. Obviously, everybody has equal parts, but Mike Shinoda is the one that really does most of it, like the sampling and just the weird stuff like that. Um, he's the one that does all that stuff, and he's the one that really like um, kind of decides or builds and molds the textures and the different sounds on the album and Linkin Park albums if you know really change up every single album they have no albums that sound similar even Hybrid Theory and Meteora sound very different in my opinion Meteora is more melodic more emotional more just personal Hybrid Theory is like an infant version of Meteor, and obviously you can fight all day which one's better whatever but they're they're like sister albums you know um and i for some reason was not expecting mike shinoda to change his sound up i don't know why that's really weird for me to have thought that because he changes up all the time he's always bored he's always evolving and trying different things so i don't know what was going through my mind that it's going to be a post-traumatic part two love post-traumatic but i I don't think I would want another album that sounds exactly like that. And I'm very glad that he did not decide to do that. This is very industrial, very different. I don't even know where to put this um, so far. He has some piano in there. Um, definitely um, reminiscent of Post Traumatic, but more of like a, like a grunge, like a dark wave grunge industrial thing going on. But it's also light at the same time, very abstract. And I don't know, very melodic at points, but it can also just just punch you right in the mouth. <laughs> um, I haven't even heard all of it, and I'm reviewing it like I've heard this entire album. So it's just, I'm really, really interested. Everything is gonna be fine, fine, fine. Okay. So girls stretching out from nowhere, reaching for my throat. They're hungry for my ah. skin, my skin, teeth wide, smiling that they found me circling around. I, I love this. Hold on. I keep comparing this to nine inch nails. <laughs> just dislike the video. Just leave right now if you really don't want to hear this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna listen to the whole song in full and not and not Hold on, this really reminds me. Same beat. You hear that? You hear that, right? And then... I guess it's not the same. It's very similar. It really sounds like Nine Inch Nails to me. I love it. It's like, it's, like a, it's like Nine Inch Nails, but not as heavy and just abrupt. It's more easy to get into for non-listeners of that genre. This is so different. I was not expecting this at all. It's gonna be fine. Ooh, it has such a creepy, like dystopian vibe to it, and I love dystopian themes. I have an album called Dystopia, so. <laughs> Is it building up again? I'm gonna look through the comments of this video. 
Oh, what the? I'm like building a music video in my head right now, and it's so like. Just watching the, the pixels move. Wow. I remember when he. Wow. Okay. Let's re-listen to that. I remember when he took the post-traumatic EP and that came out. I remember that. Prove you wrong, love those bonus tracks. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and re listen to this. And look through the, the comments. Tell the children to lock those doors. Well, the I see the smoke in the sky before. Gotta be up on my feet when the morning comes. Cause this fight we can't ignore. I feel a chill building up inside. Seeing the sweat filling up my eyes. Tell every friend in the Somebody just like it. 107. Fingers stretching out from nowhere, reaching for my throat. Nobody, nobody's bringing up the nine inch nails. Is it just me? <laughs> Listen, listen to it again, no interruptions. Why is it frozen? It's gonna be fine, fine, fine. <laughs> it's so... Ooh. It's so good, I can't even like... I really hope he has an album, and it all has this feeling to it. Because it, it, it's giving me concept album vibes. Because it feels like he's explaining something here. Let me... If he's making a concept album, I'm gonna shit myself. I love this part too. Interesting. This is a very interesting song. I love it. And the lyrics are very cool too. It, it sounds like he's talking about multiple different things in the lyrics though. You guys, that was fine by Mike Shinoda and it shocked me. I wasn't sure what was going on. I never listened to the song twice, but I talked a lot the first time, so I want to do it again. And um, yeah, that was absolutely amazing, you guys. Um, I want you, I want you to tell me what you think because I don't normally do people don't normally tell me how they think about the song as well what is your guys's reaction this just came out a little bit ago so i know you most of us haven't really had enough time to like digest the song really feel how uh really know how we feel about it i just heard it now and i know doing reactions um i'll do a reaction to a song because it's the first time i've ever heard it and then i'll add it to my playlist and hear it a few more times and i have a completely different opinion on it or i want to say something else about it and i can't because that reaction's already up unless i do like um reactions like a follow-up reaction or something like that like a review um, which is possible, but I want you guys to tell me what you guys thought of this um, Let me know if you guys want an album if it's a concept album if he's released any um, News that I haven't seen about it. Please let me know because I don't really know anything about it um, I follow him on social media and stuff, but I, I haven't been checking my my f I mean I just came home from school So I mean if he said anything, I don't know But I hope this is like a concept album or something because that would be absolutely amazing. He he went through post traumatic talking about his grief cycle, his grief process about Chester's law uh, losing Chester and the way he felt and everything like that. 
and now I feel like he's kind of free to do whatever he wants musically because he got that out of the way fans needed it he needed it for himself especially but um yeah this this song was absolutely amazing um it blends a lot of different genres together the artwork reminded me of nine inch nails right off the bat and so does the song um but it's more melodic i guess i mean nine inch nails has a lot of melodic stuff but it's more like it's less harsh i guess it's easier to get into it's like it, I don't know exactly how to say this. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please like, subscribe, comment, follow us on Twitter. Link is down in the description. Check out things down in the description. I have my most recent album down there in the My Best Music playlist. It has my most recent album, my most recent singles, um, plus the ones I've done in the past. Um, I don't know how much you guys like heavy music, but I'm guessing a lot of you guys like Linkin Park. So, I mean, so I don't know. Um... Not all my stuff is heavy, though. But, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. Tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. Make sure notifications are on. And, as always, I will see your face in the next video. And have an amazing day. Peace.